This is an improved aerial spinning machine. I will describe its operational and constructional details. This is a U-shaped frame. These are two parallel members. The parallel members are 56 and centimeter in length. And breadth of this machine is 28 centimeter. This base member has a hole where a nut bolt can be screwed in. Three systems are mounted on the use of frame. One is straddle system, another is spinning system. And third one is the swift system. This is the treadle. The length of the treadle is 37 cm. The width is 12 cm and 3 cm in thickness. A rod has been inserted from the 24 cm from the top here and leaving 13 cm from the other side. The rod is mounted on both sides by two bushings. The bushings are mounted 5 cm above the upper surface of the two parallel bars and 8 cm from the inside of these two mem members from the to the to the rod here, the pale side, from 8 cm from this place to this place. The weight of the treadle is 650 gram, and in this part, there is a pitman rod. Pitman rod is mounted on a bushing and a, and a ball, iron ball, where it moves about 30 degree all around. And the other end of the pitman rod is fixed with the ball bearing cache crank. This is a spinning system. And the, all the components are mounted in the vertical member. The vertical member is 90 centimeter in length. and 10 cm in breadth, 3 cm in thickness. It is passed through the base plate and it is tightened by two packs alternatively and it is also fixed by two base um, at the clamp, the base plate and the vertical member. The height of this clamp is 15 cm and to remove and to dismantle this machine, this has to be opened, unlocked, and this pack, two packs has to be removed. Apart from this, pitman rod. Pitman rod, this knot has to be loosened and it will be dismantled very comfortably. And this will help in transportation. This is a band wheel. The band wheel is 40. One four hundred ten mm in diameter and nine hundred ten in gram in weight. It is connected. The pitman rod is connected by a nut bolt to the middle of this band wheel, and the band wheel is the main driving force of the entire machine. Two eight mm non rusted rods are mounted in the vertical member at the height of 57 cm and 67.5 cm and the bluster is mounted at 62.25 cm from the upper surface of the base plate and the, the bluster in the bluster case one spindle is mounted here this is a spindle and 
it breaks this is a spindle break spindle break is maintained to keep this uh, the two collars in in between the two collars of the spindle hub and this will and the entire system the 8 mm rod these two rods and the spindle are mounted at 5 cm 5 degree above parallel to the vertical member and this will help in keeping the spindle hub and the spindle towards the base member during spinning it may come out so it will, while it will come out then there will be a friction there will be a friction it gives sound and it in this condition the treadle pressure is more so a person has to give more energy has to lose more energy in that case apart from this if it will come out then it vibration is more the vibration more is more that means energy requirement will be more thirdly it gives noise and under this condition our device there is no noise no vibration and there is no friction between the two collars of the herb herbs and the and the spindle braid if it touches then it will go out of order in a very short period of time so generally it, it happens in all other spinning air spinning machine but in the, our device we have eliminated all these things and that is why it is long life otherwise it will be remain ideal after a short period of time this is a ring tray the ring tray has a 56 cm diameter hole where this ring is inserted and the other side it has been hold by a holder and the ring contains a a traveler this is the traveler and it is mounted in two bushings the two bushings are mounted in a two rods for easy moving and in the lower bushings will have cut a small depression where the tail this uh, rod is exposed in this condition suppose we will we we'll live in this such during spinning it gives some sound so to remove this sound and we keep we have place a ring clip the ring clip is insert in this way and that in the duty will help in keeping the ring tray fixed and it will remove the the sound during spinning on the other hand we we'll just press it a little bit and keep the tray ring tray gradually in the upper side from the inner side to the outer so in that case from it generally it the spinning starts from the booster side and gradually it becomes coming out here so if the all the spinning material and the yarn will be evenly distributed over the bobbin this is a c shaped frame and it holds the both the end of this rod and it is, is does not allow to move or it's having any effect on the rod this is a lappet hook and this is a lappet guide the lappet hook is fixed on in between the two washers and the inside is in one is the ring spring the ring spring gives some tension not to move the lappet guide during spinning the lappet hook can be this can give um, and bring it that side this side or that side just to bring out the bobbin to so bring out the bobbin will keep like this and bring it out and the entire material is unwanted and after unwinding do we have to push it back to the original position on this over the spindle the spindle and we'll bring this lappet hook at the center of the 
like this or the parallel to the spindle it is very easy so it is now it is in the parallel to the lepet hook and the bobbin after this we will push it again three groove step pulley having a diameter of 35 mm 35 mm 96 mm and 126 mm diameter step pulley is mounted at the vertical member at the height of 79 cm from the base plate the 35 mm diameter step pulley is connected by a belt with the band wheel whereas the 96 mm diameter step pulley is connected to the hub by a belt and under the 120, 126 mm diameter step pulley can also be mount, mounted with this hub but at a time one, be, one belt can be used while using the 126 mm diameter groove to the hull, the RPM will be 3200 per minute considering the band wheel moves at 50 times per minute. On the other hand, the 96 mm groove connected with the hull and it moves 2441 times that means for, for 2441 uh, rpm of the spindle and this is the weft yarn can be produced easily in this group on the other hand the 126 mm diameter step pulley produces better what yarn in this device so at the same pedal speed, the two warp and waft, weft yarn can be produced considering the total movement is 50 times in a minute. While moving 3200 rpm, so if this the spindle brake touches the groove and this collar, in one hour it will move about nine, one lakh ninety two thousand times and that is enough to damage this brake and in one day one day how much rotation will take place one can imagine so we have eliminated this defect and it will it gives a long life with this device this is a swift the swift is 35 cm in length and 8 cm in diameter and there are two dishes one is this other is this there is a hole to just to pass the rod through this to hole and the hand carding eddy material are rolled over this swift and 500 grams of hand carding so, the sliver can be placed over this swift. The swift is placed through this hole of the two dishes and it is generally fixed in a L shape frame and it is tightened. And this has a facilities to move and to roll narrow or to the away from the spinners as requirement of this spinner and this can be placed in the left hand side to the right hand side very comfortably by opening a nut and bowl by hand the swift system can be moved from one place to the other or the left hand side to the right hand side by removing this one and again it can be placed here and back. Magnet is tight and open this way. 
so and it can be a desired amount of this spinner this yarn is passed through this traveler this is the traveler of the ring and from the, the yarn comes to the traveler to the lepet guide of this lepet hook again it is the carding material it is joined with this carding material now we can gradually go for the spinning the treadle grip pressure to the band wheel and the band wheel move the three step grow step wheel and step wheel with the belt it will move the grow this hard and hard movement will create more rotation of the spindle and thus the spinning is gradually done with this help of this treadle band wheel and three step wheel and the grow the hand carding material is brought out by one hand the other hand with the help of this other hand with the finger the spinning starts the spinning the over spinning starts it keeps some position in this way Of course, I'm not a very trained spinner. Even then, I try to understand the story, the spinning system. This introduction of this swift is very important in this uh, device because it uh, produces jointless filament and the, the twist per inch is almost uniform. Thirdly, it reduces about five hours of time to produce one kg of yarn than the other devices. The jo joining of filaments of each cocoon it takes about 5 seconds and to join 3500 of cocoon it requires about 5 hours so without joining we can reduce the time and gain 5 hours of time to produce 1 kg of the yarn on the other hand with this 50 rpm of this uh, band wheel we can get the warp and weft yarn and thirdly this yarn is the machine is so swift simple and so it can go by any age of people and with their adjustment most of the devices the belt is a problem belt is mostly synthetic if it is goes out of order it the machine remain idle so these our devices the belt are this of this side it is very simple and less costly every every market it is available it costs about 20 rupees and it produces 12 numbers of the belt and it is 4 rupees it produces about about 15 numbers of belt here to this side here so it is in a way it is very available and less costly and thank you